Hello, so here we have the original buff. Okay, for a start, what's unique about the buff is the fact that it's manufactured to be completely seam free. So there's no seams anywhere around it, no seams on the end, it's never gonna fray or come undone. It's a microfiber, so it's wickable, it's breathable, it's wind resistant. Basically, it's just great for hot and cold conditions the whole year round. Okay, it's uses. Starting off as a straightforward neck scarf, unlike a conventional scarf, doesn't become heavy and irritable. Cold, dirty, dusty, simple face mask you can actually breathe through without it getting sticky like fleece or woolly materials all around the mouth, okay? If it's absolutely freezing cold, stuck up a mountain, whether you're skiing, snowboarding, or you simply need a liner for a helmet, pull it up, this section here, tuck back under your neck, and we have a full face balaclava. No seams, no marks, no pressure points, so it's great under the helmet. Goggles on over the top for skiing. It's not gonna freeze around the mouth because it's not gonna get sticky and irritable. All right, so uh, also good for the summer months. If you wanna keep the sun off your head and the hair at your eyes, you just pull it up like so. Let that drop down behind, and that stops any sweat or perspiration now running off the front, the back, and also gives you some protection on the back of the neck from the sun. If you're more into jogging and running, and just after a simple sweat band, pull it up under your head again. It's gonna wick moisture away from the, from the forehead, stop it running down into your eyes. Another good method for that is the bandana. So I use mine under the mountain bike helmet as a bandana, and I pinch this section, this section, and then we just pull that back through on itself. Both sides are now the same. We're gonna choose which side we're gonna use, and just straighten that up. Place it onto your head by putting it on the forehead first and then working around the sides. And on the back, you've got a tail section that you can use to adjust up to fit whatever size head you need. If you're more into the beanie, there's a couple of ways of doing the beanie. First off, you just turn it inside out and then just give it a light twist in the middle section, placing it back down onto itself and it gives you a great little two-line beanie. Another way of doing that Put it onto your head first, and then you pull it up until you get it exactly comfortable. A light twist, back down onto itself, and it's a great two-line beanie. Again, you can wear that under the helmet if you need to. Again, it's gonna whip moisture away from the forehead. One last one, the Legionnaire style. Okay, so first of all, turn it inside out. You can wet it, saturate it with water, and then just place it onto the head inside out, okay? and you pull that section back over. And again, that leaves a nice tail section on the back of the neck. But as the water evaporates off the buff through your body temperature, it actually keeps you a bit cooler. Lastly, but not leastly, stick it around your wrist as a sweatband, so you're not gonna lose it, you always got it with you. And that is the original buff. Thank you very much.